So, what is it that's here? <laughs> oh, looks like a person, right? Mm. It's not. It, when I first ha had this awakening experiencing going on, the word that came uh, when referring to a body mind, this one or anyone's, was presentation. And it was really clear in those moments that everything that shows up, not just body minds, but the entire physical universe, everything that shows up is a presentation. It's a presentation of the consciousness. The universal consciousness is what it's often called. And that's a, that's a good enough term. Universal meaning it is the consciousness that is everything. It's in everything and it's what everything is in. If that makes any sense. It's like a Klein bottle or something. <laughs> that's what's showing up. So, for instance, in this very moment, there's this body right here and it has this hair and this t-shirt on and it's looking into that camera and all of it's the same thing. This tree back here is essentially the same thing as this body. The camera is the same thing as this body. The sky, the chair, the plant, the car, the banana, the mango. It's all the same stuff. Okay, so how does it happen then that it doesn't look like the same stuff? How does it happen then that we perceive a physical universe, a, a multiverse in fact, that is apparently filled with what is essentially an infinite number of different things. An infinite number of objects, an infinite number of um, circumstances, an infinite number of s situations, uh, infinite time apparently, or the next best thing, despite Einstein. How, how is this how is this happening? That if it's one thing, it all can show up as the multitude. The way it shows up for human beings. I can't speak for anything else, of, only for as a body mind. The way it shows up for humans is through our senses. Our senses with the brain come together to create the sense of objects, the sense of time the sense of circumstances unfolding as objects through time. How do our senses do that? Well, darned if I know. I just know that I've had, and many others have had, direct experiencing. Objects are not objects. Space itself doesn't exist. Time does not exist. The reason that the subatomic physicists say that objects and um, uh, experiments are affected by the observer of them is because the observer and the experiment and the objects are all the same thing. Consciousness manifesting as this particular presentation. And so when there's only one thing of course it's going to affect itself in every moment. How could it not? When you're in your bed at night and your body is sound asleep and you dream, you're dreaming a one thing with, with dream stuff. And in the dream world, things just pop up and happen. Time jumps around. Um, you jump around. If you can see your body, it may not even look like the body that's asleep in the bed. Everything happens spontaneously. Everything just flows. And you, as a, the observer, are right there with it. Seemingly separate. And yet, when you wake up in your body, you realize that, of course, there is only one thing going on. One body-mind asleep, having the dream. It was all you in the first place. That's what's happening here. There's no separation. This is all one thing, being itself, seamlessly. And in, in that beingness, time seems to be 
space seems to be. And within that environment, there seems to be objects and circumstances. There seems to be thoughts and feelings. And those are just more objects, more things. And all of them are seamlessly one thing showing up. All of them are one presentation of consciousness. And then when it's broken down by our senses into what we perceive, it is broken down into tiny chewable bits, you might say. We can digest this. We can see that this gigantic huge one thing that isn't even a thing is now apprehended through the senses as, oh, look, it's a background of time and space, and in this background all these things seem to appear, and all these events appear to take place. And what's the point? That's the point. Experiencing. Consciousness, and this is the mystery, for whatever reason, wants experiencing. And that's exactly what it's getting. Through all of this, through the body minds, this one and yours, and everybody else's. It's just showing up. It's just what is.